Hey guys, it's your girl Carryisms, aka Toronto's favorite Brooklyn girl, and I am back with a new Aveda. Let's go! Hey! This video is basically um, about my struggle being a vlogger so far. Like, it hasn't been, like, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, actually. It hasn't been an easy road. So I decided to do this in April 2016. You guys can check out my first video. I was just like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. And basically I was super excited, super excited about it and just ready to just get out there and do stuff. I'll give you the backstory of how this all came to be. In 2012, I moved from Brooklyn to Toronto and I started a new life in Canada. And I knew that I wanted to do something like this or do a blog or do something like this since I was back in New York. So I was already working with another blog at the time and it was building, building, building. And in 2013, I was still working with that blog and I decided to do my own blog. So the CEO, CEO and founder of the blog would help me collaborate and he was already telling me like all the time, like you should do this. You should definitely, definitely, definitely do this. Like this is your life story and you should share it with the world. Like you should not keep this to yourself. And I was always watching videos from Shameless Meyer. I had to give her a big shout out because I was watching her first video like for years. Like, you know that double dutch, that double dutch jump, like that when you're getting ready and you're doing this, getting ready to jump in. That was me from 2012 to 2016. It was always on my mind. I was like, ah. I'll do it, uh, maybe, maybe not. And then I just, it just didn't happen. So um, around, I would say 2013, like I said, like 2012, at the end of 2012, around Christmas time, I was like, boom, I'm gonna do this new blog. I'm gonna get it going. Like I need to like, I couldn't go the traditional route because I graduated with a degree in journalism and that didn't seem to be going the way that I intended it to. I was applying for jobs, applying, 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 and nothing really came. So I was getting really frustrated, and I was like, maybe I can go like a more creative route because you can use journalism in so many different ways. So I decided to do my own blog. And it was basically what I'm doing now, but I was like, oh, I need to be more professional, like have a more professional stance so that I can get like a legit like paying job. So I decided to call it 25 hours, and I, I launched it, I believe in February, February 25th, 2013. So I did that blog for about a few months and then heading towards the end of 2013, I just let it go. I was just like, I don't, cause I was, I was always, my issue and I think my issue now is that I always look towards the end game. I always look towards like, oh, this is where I want to do, this is what I, this is where I want to go, this is where I want to be. And then I get frustrated because I'm like, why am I not here already? And I'm just like, it takes time. It takes time for you to get where you want to go and get where you want to be. I saw this picture a few days ago. I don't remember what social media network, I think it was probably Instagram. And it was like how people think success looks like versus how it actually is. And I'm like living through that right now because Today, like I graduated from college and I still don't have a, a job in that field. So it's been a struggle because I'm just like, what am I, what am I doing? What, where am I going? How are, I, don't, I have no idea. And I've just been like stepping along and treading along lightly and then just, just trying to see what works and whatever doesn't, doesn't. So it's been, a lot of trial and error over the past four years and it's like I kind of now I need to get into something because like I'm I'm not a recent graduate anymore you know so I decided you know what I'm not gonna go the professional route I'm going to do what really makes me happy and I started Carryism. I called my friend over who was already starting a YouTube channel you see you've seen her so many times on my channel already Sarah Maria and I was like can you come over for more support and we shot the first uh, video that started the Carryisms channel and eventually the Carryisms brand and it's been so much fun just like 
doing it. The first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning and the last thing that I think about is Carrieisms and just like how am I gonna expand this brand and how I'm gonna make it better and how how am I going to just like let the world know who I am as a person and eventually as a as a bis eventually as like as a person actually. So I've been just trying to do so many challenges. The first challenge was just for me to be consistent and that is something I definitely struggle with right now. Um, that's why I decided to do VEDA and I've been failing. I, I think I've been doing an okay job with it. The first six days it was like wham bam, thank you ma'am. I did it, got those vlogs out and then the seventh day I shot a video and then it didn't work out. And then from then it's been a struggle. And I think that's where the whole squiggly lines thing comes in. Where it's just like, you know, success is not gonna be exactly how you think it would be. And I wanted to do Veda because I wanted to push myself and have a challenge and do something that I, like be committed to something for once. Cause that was one of the things I was never committed to anything. Like whenever something like was not, didn't fit, I didn't fancy it or whatever. I was just like, okay, bye, deuce. And I was out the door. So this has been definitely a struggle, you know, and I wanted to do VEDA so I can do more videos, get more views, hopefully get more people watching my videos. It's, I've seen a lot of improvement in terms of like getting people to watch my videos and stuff like that and more interaction and stuff, but it's still not where I want it to be and that has been kind of frustrating to me. So there are days like I'm always like every single day like Carryisms doesn't stop like even though like I'm doing whatever I am doing on the side to make sure that like I'm heating like Carryisms hasn't stopped like that's a Sunday through Saturday job so I'm always whenever I go home after my actual job I'm doing Carryisms whenever I'm I wake up in the morning the first thing I'm like Carryisms whenever I'm at work I'm like Carryisms so that has been like my and I know that's what I want to do and I've been dancing around the idea of it for years people was like you just need to just do it just do it and i was just like oh no it's not professional enough and it's like what what makes something professional you know like there are cartoons and stuff out there corporations for like disney disney is like childlike stuff and it's like the biggest professional corporation out there like why can't carryisms be professional so I know I'm ranting right now or just like rambling, going around in circles, but basically I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, pick something in your life and be passionate about it and focus on it and make sure that you give it your 110%. And there are times, like I said, there are going to be humps and bumps and lumps, but you got to push through it. And I'm in the process right now of pushing through it. I gained some more subscribers and I lost some subscribers at the same time and I'm just like oh man you know because like not everybody is going to understand what it is right now because I just started it and not even myself I'm still trying to find my voice but I'm just like you know what you got to keep pushing even when people are, are throwing like negative negativity at you or even when like things are not going the way you exactly planned it out to be you have to be flexible and keep rolling with the punches and there was this um video i saw from that dude mcfly and he was like what do you love and yes you have to love something but you can also love something and not have passion for it you can love your husband for many years and then you don't have any passion for him and then like boom it's done or like you know so like my thing is be passionate about the things you love like i've always loved writing i've always loved like expressing my views and thoughts through words i've always liked singing i've always liked being like silly and funny and all those different things but like there are times where i was just like i just didn't do them i went through writing blocks there was, I feel like I just started writing poetry again and I would do it in and out between the years, but like I haven't consistently written poetry since like 2011. I just started doing it again. So like, because of this whole charism thing and I'm really, really passionate about getting it out there and I'm really, really passionate about being successful at it no matter what it takes. So I hope that this will be an encouragement to whoever's watching this, like you are going to go it is a guarantee you are going to go through some hard times 
and you are going to feel like you're a failure like i am three blocks behind <laughs> right now and i'm just like oh my gosh you just stop but it's just like you you can't stop you have to keep going like even if veda goes into september i'm going to put out 31 vlogs like that's what's gonna happen so you just have to keep going and then next time it will get better and next time it will get better and then people will start to notice so i know this is just the beginning and i and i know my potential and i know what i'm capable of and i really want other people to see that and appreciate that but all of that takes time so this has just been like a psa to people who are watching this be passionate about what you do and give your 110 percent and this has been an introspective thing for me just to be like this has been like just a self-reflection to to myself just to understand like things don't happen overnight and you just got to keep pushing no matter what it takes you know you have an end goal work towards that end goal like things are not going to be easy peasy it's not a bed of roses this is what it is so i hope you all enjoy watching this video it's been it was a bit of a bit of a rant but i just wanted to like get that off my chest because I didn't have any outlet for me to like really talk about it or whatever. I've just been internalizing it for like a really long time. And I just wanted to get that out. So thank you, thank you, thank you for just watching this video. It means so much to me. And I hope to see you guys soon for another beta. This has been your Curiousms coming to you live. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. What do you why are you watching my videos and not subscribe? subscribe like subscribe to the channel Sus subscribe eh? <laughs> this has been your curious was coming to you live reminding you to stay tuned and to stay true goodbye 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 bye